I'm currently at Fort Lauderdale slash Los Olas Beach. Now I want to get a tan, but I hate sunbathing. It's so boring. So I'm going to go that way as far as I can by foot. I got nothing with me but some hydration, my driver's license, my car keys, and my phone. That's it. I think I'll uh, use my trail app to track it. I thought it was a toy dinosaur for a second. I've gotten to a point in my walk where it's like a freaking minefield. No more smooth Florida sands. There's a bunch of rocks and shells up here in this part of the beach. Big game of dodge em. And just as predicted, my journey has ended on a pile of rocks. This is the canal into the city. Look at the size of that ship there. Came right through here. That cruise ship is definitely on its way out, but uh, it is moving very slowly. I don't think I'll stick around for it. I've traveled 1.1 miles in 22 minutes. Is that some sort of record? I don't know. I was just walking. Now, I'm gonna turn around and go the other way. All right, I've made it back to where I began. The tide is coming in, which is making it difficult for me to uh, stay out of the water without having to be on a sideways slope. Trying to keep my feet dry for now, just keep the sunscreen on them, but uh, definitely by the time I'm coming back to here, after I find the other end, is uh, when I'll start walking in the water, because it's getting hot. I'm starting to feel the heat. Sweating a little bit, not too much, that my sunscreen's dripping off, but onwards. All right, I've walked half a mile more than I did in the other direction, and there is no end in sight. <laughs> I just see a bunch of lifeguard towers as far as the eye can see. So this beach is not stopping anytime soon. I need to uh, turn around and get back before I run out of energy. I'm starting to feel the aches and the pains a bit, but uh, as I said, I'll be walking in the water on this last stretch all the way back, so it should be a bit refreshing. I'm gonna finish this, see if I can toss it somewhere in a rubbish bin and head on back. <laughs> Made it back. <laughs> Oh, my feet and legs are hurting. 5.8 miles in uh, just under two hours, I think. Now I'm gonna go swim for a bit. So I made a little uh, whoopsie this last time I docked. <laughs> Swung around a little bit too fast and uh, ended up past my mark. That was the front corner of a boat that hit right there. Buckled the roof a little bit. See this flower right here? I'm gonna kill it. Oh no, what have I done? <laughs> Oh, it's growing back. <laughs> Step here. This is doing weird things to my camera. Paddles disperse everywhere. The uh, camera does not do it justice whatsoever. Why am I even trying? <laughs> the lasers are making it weird. You can kind of see it. She's creating some flowers by touching the wall. Measuring my heartbeat. And there we go. stick together <laughs> we get lost so uh, we're in someone's lungs basically this is someone's lungs I guess Thank <laughs> you. 
Hello Internet, I'm with Layla and Gang. We're about to go on a speedboat sunset tour. <laughs> So that series of events uh, was with uh, Layla and her two cousins. Remember Layla from this little trip? She swung by Miami on her way back. Her two cousins, fortunately, they were small because I took all three of them all over the place. And this car is not meant for backseat passengers. Before I fold these seats back down, I'm going to see what it's like to sit in the back. I haven't done that yet. But what they did sometimes is they took their shoes off and put them on the floor and then sat cross-legged in these seats so that Layla and I could sit comfortably. Not really. I was crushed right up against the dashboard. It was very tricky to drive. Nope. <laughs> I don't like this one bit. I can't even sit up. It's just head is in the back window. Well, while we're in here, I'm going to show the interior. Got the uh, rising sun flag for the driver's seat. Got the nice cherry blossoms for the passenger seat. Got this katana handle for the manual transmission. Has real wood in it. And a little uh, addition to the uh, empty button in the center console. That's my interior update. I think I said I was going to do that a while ago, but there it is. Yeah. 